talking that way? Well, so, my name uh, is... One second. Are you there or there? A uh, couple of things. Well, my name is Charlie Caper, and uh, I love street performing. I reckon it's the best job in the world. I think the real obstacle into being a street performer is to get the confidence that lets you gather the crowd. Because you can't have the conf confidence before you know that you know how to do it. And you can't know how to do it before you get the confidence. So it's sort of a, a, a catch-22, where you just have to suffer for a while and get past that threshold, and then it works, I guess. You can sort of, you can, you can stand in the street and do anything, and if it looks like you have confidence and you know what you're doing, people are gonna stop and watch. It's all about how you express yourself. If you're closed and you, you don't sound confident, or if you're, I mean, I quite often start my street show just by pointing at someone saying, stop, stand there, and they just go and stand and watch. Like, it's really, it's pretty much like, imagine a, a stand-up comedian starting out, and they have to walk out on stage and just die over and over and over again. That's what it was like for me to start doing a street show. I just went out and tried to gather a crowd and people just walked past, ignoring me. I went on like that for a whole summer. And towards the end of the summer, I had a show that I could survive on and that actually was working. But it took probably a hundred shows before it started becoming, becoming okay. There's two historical anecdotes about why it's called a bottling speech. And one is that you used to have someone collecting money for you, and they would walk around with a hat, uh, collecting money for the performer, and they would have to uh, hold, they would have a fly in a bottle, and they would hold the thumb over it. And when you, do, uh, when you have that, it's very hard to steal money out of the hat. So if the fly was gone from the bottle, then the performer would know that that bottler was stealing money. And the other, um, uh, the other anecdote of it is that groups of street performers in, uh, in the early days, they used to collect money in a bottle. And then no one could steal from the bottle. And at the end of the day, they would break the bottle. And then they would buy a bottle of wine and drink it. And for tomorrow, they would have another bottle. They're both kind of funny anecdotes. And it, it, it's a true science. Street performers, I've, I've sometimes spent 12 hours straight discussing with s some colleague how to get the speech down. And it can be just about a single word or a single dynamic in how you say it and stuff. It's really exact. It's a, it's a real balance act between being funny and serious. You've got to ask for money in a funny way so it doesn't become heavy on people. But you also have to be serious enough so they realize it's not a joke. They have to realize you actually need this money to survive. Oh, I discuss quite a lot with people, with friends, whether it's good to ask for money in character or outside of character. And I definitely believe you should do it out of character. But th there's a lot of, of people with a theater background that say, no, you should never break character. You're in the show, you, you stay in character. But I think the audience wants to give you money, not your character. And uh, that's um, quite important, I think.